What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture and in today's video we're going to be looking at how we can add a video recording or a camera recording um, overlay onto an existing video and also how we can hold and freeze a frame um, in After Effects um, in Premiere Pro. So let's give it a go. So the first thing I'll do is that I will import my video file which I want to use and I'll just simply drag it here. Um, it should be 1920 by 1080. So, so here's a man jumping up and I want to actually add a camera overlay, camera recording uh, overlay onto it. Um, now you can download it from different sources. The one I have downloaded is from Envato Elements. Um, I will give the link below in the description so you can go and have a look. You can download it yourself and it is royalty free uh, content. So you can use it and you will get the license for it as well. And the one I'm using is actually this one which is called Digital Camera video recording screen whatever you download just make sure that it is alpha channel because obviously we want to put it on top of our existing video or footage so this will actually come on top of it and in the background it is uh, transparent so you can see your video okay simple stuff so the first thing I want to do is obviously if let's say I want to actually hold this frame over here what I can do is I can just right click here and I can say add frame hold what that will do is it will hold the rest of the 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 video file um, at that point okay it will not move um, so you can do it that way if you just want to show a particular uh, shot a particular uh, time in the video you can either do that or if you just want to hold it for like maybe one or two seconds um, what you will do I'll just undo that and you go and add insert frame hold segment Okay, what this will do is that this will at that time, at that point, it will hold the video for uh, two seconds and then it will continue on. Okay, so if you play it now, so it's holding it for two seconds and there you go. Now, if now if you want to increase or decrease the, the, the time, by default it is two seconds in Premiere Pro, you can increase it or decrease it um, by going to uh, for example the end of the the end of this uh, hold frame uh, press control and when it turns yellow you can actually increase increase it push it to the right or decrease it if you just want maybe half a second or one second whatever it may be the other thing obviously now uh, later on I will um, import the, the the video overlay as well the, the camera recording overlay so what I'll do is I'm gonna go and get a camera shutter sound over here okay so you can either do that or you can actually move it around so that it you know it it comes half of it on that side, half of it on this side. I'm just gonna uh, keep it to the basic um, and and do something over here, okay? And uh, also, I'm just gonna. Oops. Decrease the level of the audio here. Okay, so that's all. That's all done. Now, the last thing I want to do is to bring the overlay. Um, and for that what I will do okay so now what I'll do is that I'll just um, drag the animation the overlay camera overlay um, which is this from Envato Elements uh, you just unzip it and drag it onto your timeline uh, now of course as you can see this has the video and also the audio uh, file with it because there will be some uh, audio uh, effects so we can play around with that so when you bring it here this is how it looks like if you drag the the pointer here so okay so now obviously we have added or i have added our um, audio effect here but in the overlay the audio effect actually starts from here so what we can do is we can just extend or adjust our video file 
okay to make it look like okay so what will happen is that we can even delete that actually and we bring this to audio one and when you play it now that's how it's going to look like There you go simple okay so this is how you can do this uh, now of course um, you can you can make your adjustments here you can uh, change the color change the, the brightness etc etc um, either bring the adjustment layer or something like that uh, you can do that let's just do that anyway just to just to make sure that we know what we are doing and I'm gonna extend this and on here I'm gonna go to color just expand or increase the, the white okay oh. if I just see before and after here you go. see I think that's better brings a bit more light to it okay so that's how you do it and it's very easy as I said um, it is all available from Envato uh, if you want to go and have a look the link is in the description below and um, if you are new to the channel please think about subscribing hit that like button and we will see you in the next video thanks bye